Hello there. Now, apologies that there wasn't a preview of this game because I've literally just not had the time to do it. A lot of things going on that, you know, are outside of videos and stuff like that that I don't necessarily want to go into. So there hasn't been a great deal of time to do previews and such like that. But hopefully, if not this weekend, after the international break, that will all be sorted out. Anyway, Liverpool have just beaten Maribor 3-0. So obviously, in that first half, it didn't look too great. You know, obviously we had a lot of possession. We were dominating the game, but... Possession stats mean nothing when it comes down to actually getting results. And it did look like when it went into half-time, nil-nil, it was looking tough. But then you've got to remember, and this is what I would compare this game to, it literally does look like this game was a carbon copy of the Huddersfield game. Not just in result, but in the way that it actually was played as well. We, didn't, we dominated Maribor more than we did Huddersfield, but it was playing out in a very similar way. There was a stat... For the first half, I think it was where we had something like 84% possession to their 16 or something like that. And I thought, that's a ridiculous stat. We've been here before and I always, always have that Burnley game last year in my mind when we had like 82% possession and lost 2-0. I'm just glad that didn't happen here. I really am so glad that didn't happen here. We got some very good goals from Mohamed Salah, Emre Chan, and Daniel Sturridge. The pick of the bunch for me was Emre Chan's because of James Milner's part in it as well. It was a really nice one-two. Nice little touch there from James Milner. And just Emre Chan slams it past the goalkeeper. Very, very good. Daniel Sturridge's one as well. Get, takes it on takes it on one knee, gets a touch, and slams it into the back of the net for, for the 3-0. Salah's goal was pretty special as well. A nice little flick from, a, I think it was a cross-in. Really high power cross from Trent Alexander-Arnold which we don't see a lot of these days, to be fair. And that was really, really good. Put it in the danger area. He reacted, and it went in the back of the net. So, look, it was all about the second half. I know we missed a penalty. It happens at the end of the day. All I'm bothered about is that we got the victory, and we can move forward, and hopefully, we're still top of the group right now, so hopefully we can still you know, get some good results against the other teams as well. And hopefully we can you know, get out into the knockout stages. Let's keep this ride going as long as we can because at least if we can keep this ride going we've got something positive going on if it's not happening in the Premier League now obviously we won against Huddersfield we've got West Ham at the weekend and then it's the international break <sighs> a lot of stuff going on so I'm happy with the result tonight what do you guys think though what do you guys think who was your man of the match I'm going to go for Mohamed Salah for me I just thought as well as his goal I just think he's such a creative dynamo in there when we don't have the likes of Adam Lallana we're missing the likes of Sadio Mane and Coutinho as well. Three exceptionally creative players. And right now for me, he's not just our player our player of the match, man of the match. At the moment, he's my man of the season. And it's gonna take it's gonna take something special from someone else to knock him off that pedestal, I'm telling you now. In, in, from my perspective, I think he's been excellent. Regardless of how our results have gone, he has been he has worked hard, he has tried his absolute best. And that's all you can ask for from a player. Anyway, very good victory today. We move on to West Ham and I will do a preview for that. Apologies again for not doing one for this one, but I'm going to try and get back on track. If you've enjoyed this video, please drop a like on the video if you could. Thank you ever so much for watching. As always, please do subscribe if you're new and I'll catch you later.